Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and welcome to the science class. Um, I am Cikgu Roni and this is a lesson for year 6, a vid science video lessons for year 6. Now before we start our lesson, we shall recite doa Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Rabbi shrahli sadari wa yasidi amri wa halul u'datam minisani yafqahu qawli. Rabbi zidni ilma wa rizu'ni fahma wa sallallahu ala sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa salam wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin Okay, moving on to our topic for this week would be the earth and the moon Last week we have talked about the earth and the sun and how the earth revolves around the sun But this week we shall talk about the moon Okay, our objective for this week would be to explain how the moon revolves around the earth and then to explain how the phases of the moon is connected to its movement around the earth and then to observe and record the phases of the moon and present their findings. Okay, now, what we need to do this week would be to talk about, the, in this video, talk about moon's revolution around the earth and we talk about moon phases and then we talk about how we actually see the moon during its moon phase moving on to the earth and the moon okay now this is above me here uh, above me is the moon okay and the moon is the only natural satellite that revolves around the earth it satellites mean it moves something that floating or moving around the earth okay it is smaller than the earth it's the earth nearest neighbor the moon cannot give out light or heat on its own but it reflects light from the sun this is why sometimes the moon shines at night so the moon gets its light from the sun its reflection the light from the sun reflects the moon's surface and we see the moon as it is here 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 okay now every month the moon change its shape okay um, maybe you don't notice or maybe sometimes you do notice but it's more or less like this it started with something like this and this and this and around moon and this and this and this so every month the moon changes its shape now phases refer to the changes in the moon appearances this is caused by the movement of the moon around the earth now changes what we see the moon change and this is called phases the changes on the moon we call it phases okay let me explain more the moon revolves around the sun now we understand that we do know that or maybe you haven't but let me tell you the moon revolves around the sun uh, more or less like the earth revolve around the uh, the moon revolve around the earth more or less like the earth revolve around the sun okay like in this picture the sun is the sun is on the left on your left yes that that okay and then the earth and then that's the moon moving around the earth okay you do understand that moon would revolve around the earth one revolution takes about 28 days so one full round round one full revolution around the earth takes 28 days okay you understand that nice now if you can see here this is the earth and this would be the sun and the dark part here dark part would be um, the earth that facing away from the sun and the lighter part would be the earth that facing towards the sun okay 
and that is the moon example of the moon because this the moon is moving around this way yeah moving this way so the moon is moving anti clockwise so the moon is moving anti clockwise so we start with there in that picture so what happened is there more or less the same like the earth part of the moon is lighted and another half of the moon it's dark because it's facing away from the sun more or less like the earth so when it moved that way in the second position there okay um the the lighted part and the dark part it's the same as the previous one see it does half are lighted and another half is dark the same with this half half of this is lighted and this half is dark so it's the same and the same with this so any position of the moon half would be lighted and another half would be dark so this would be the lighted part that facing towards towards the sun and this is the dark part that facing away from the sun okay now the same with this and this and this and this okay now this is an example of the position of the moon so we know that from here from the picture the moon is always round shape round shape this one is always round shape the moon but why did we why do we see it sometimes it's round but sometimes it's not round sometimes it's half sometimes it's just a little part of the moon so what happened actually when the earth, when the moon revolves around the earth part of the moon that facing towards the sun is illuminated or lighted okay when the moon revolves around the earth part of the moon that facing towards no away from the sun is dark now correction for this let me correct this correction for one second here part of the moon that face away away from the sun is dark okay excellent save uh, good now we have done this moving on away from the sun is dark like i have explained moon phases now we shall learn about moon phases before we learn about what happened actually we must first learn about moon phases now there are eight phases or changes that we can see in a moon phase now the first one would be new moon second waxing crescent moon third half moon or in some in the internet they say first quarter fourth waxing gibbous moon fifth full moon six waning gibbous moon uh, seventh half moon or in the internet also called third quarter moon and last one waning crescent moon okay now this is new moon it's actually dark it's actually dark you can't really see this but the angle they take it the picture the angle picture to show you there's a moon there there's a moon in this picture okay this is called new moon new moon is nothing you can't see new moon actually okay 
maybe using telescope, but usually you can't really see it if you are here, if you're looking at the sky. Next phase would be waxing crescent moon. Waxing crescent moon means only part of this is illuminated or lighted. Only part of the moon. I will explain more on this why and what happened later. But you should understand that this is called waxing. The lighted part is on the right, on the right, the right part. Uh, right part of the moon is lighted or illuminated by the sun. Next, half moon. Half moon, more of the moon that is lighted by the sun. We can see more of the moon. See, half of the moon actually. Half moon or first quarter. Next phases, waxing gibbous moon so more of the moon we can see here in this picture more parts of the moon but it's not yet a circle it's not yet round it's just more than half more than half so more than half is lighted by the sun we can see more than half now full moon means all round part we can see the moon is lighted by the sun so we can see full uh, full round so we call that full moon when in gibbous moon means um, it's lesser than um, full moon it started to get lesser so the first you start with with no nope nothing and then more a little light over here and dark over here and then more light over here and still dark half of this are still dark and even more light we can see the moon and some are quite dark here. This is from what we see actually. And full moon, we can see whole round of the moon. And then when in gibbous, now you see here, it started to just now during waxing gibbous moon, the dark part is here. But now the dark part is on the right waxing the dark part is on the left but this is different and then it become lesser become half moon or third quarter and then even lesser more dark on the right and here is the lighter part and no more and after this after this it should be new moon there are only eight phases uh, eight phases and it's a cycle after waning crescent moon uh, it will start back to new moon and then waxing crescent moon half moon waxing gibbous moon full moon and so on it's a cycle because the moon move around the earth this is what we see now, what actually happened? What do we actually see? How do we actually see the moon? Now, I will explain this slowly. I try my best to explain. And this is the Earth. This is not up to scale. Now, this is where the sun shines. Example, a representation of sun, sunlight. So, this is sunlight. Okay, example, sunlight. Okay. And when there's sunlight, half of the moon, uh, half of the earth is dark. So another half is illuminated or lighted. And these are examples of us. Now, if we stand here and stand here, stand here, stand here, stand here, or here, or here, where we see the moon. Okay, this part. 
I will show you more, I will explain more. Okay? Now, this is as we have learned just now, we call this new moon. Now, remember, moon is always round, it never actually change shape. The only one changes is how we see it. Okay? What happened is, when we are here, if you see in this video, this person is standing here. When we are here, and this is the moon, I enlarge the moon to make you understand better. Okay? I enlarge. The size is not actually like this. Now remember, the size is smaller than the earth. But for this video, I make it bigger so you can understand better. So when the moon is here and the earth is here, we can't really see the moon. We can only see the shadow of the moon. Okay? If we are looking from here, we can only see darkness. Actually, the moon is around like this, but we cannot see it. Maybe except using telescope. But with our eyes, we can't really see the moon if we are here. Okay? So, new moon, we can only understand, we should understand that when we are standing here, there's a new moon. This one is waning crescent moon. In waning crescent moon, we are standing here. Here, look here in this picture, we are standing here and the moon is in this position. So we are looking at the moon from here and the moon is in this position, no more in the middle. And what happened is, yeah, the moon is actually round like this picture, but the lighted part is here, okay, lighted part. What happened is, here, we can only see this part of the moon. The dark part, which is here, we cannot see it. That's why it looks like a curved moon. Uh, because we only see here, here, part of the, a little part of the moon. We can only see a little part, that part. Uh, from Earth, we can see just little part of the moon here, just little part. Next, first quarter or half moon or also called first quarter. If we are standing here and we look on at the sky above and the moon is there, we can see that the moon is like I said, the moon is always round, but only half, only half are lighted. It's the same with this reverse. Only half are lighted, but we can only see here. Okay? Remember, only half, half of the moon is always lighted, but we can only see a little bit. Now, the same with this. Half are lighted. We can only see this part of the lighted moon, okay? That, or this part. That part we can see. When we look in the sky, we can see this part only. Or this part. If we stand, if we stand here, uh, it, you must stand here. Next, waxing gibbous moon. So what happened is there's a changes in the position of the moon and there are changes in the position of us because the earth, like, like we have learned before, the earth is always rotating. Okay? The earth is always rotating and the moon is always uh, revolve around the earth. So what happened is when we see when we see the moon from here, we we see most of the lighted part because we see this part except some of the dark part we cannot see which is here. 
okay some some of the dark part we cannot see we cannot see but we can see this so the sun shines here okay but we cannot see a little here only this large part we can see this is what we see that's why we when we see the moon in the sky at night this happened we only see some part of the moon for this waxing gibbous moon a large part of the moon so how about full moon what can we see uh, which part of the moon that we see actually for the full moon we see almost all part of the moon of the lighted part of the moon this is the dark part this is the lighted part we see all part of the lighted part of the moon that's why we call it full moon we saw we see it as a round shape like this moving on when the moon moves away from the full moon there we start here it move round when it move away from here there are some dark parts we actually it's round like i said moon is always round but what we see is only this part some dark parts we cannot see the same with this half moon or third quarter we are standing there and when we see the moon we can only see half of the moon half because this is the lighted part and this is the dark part so what we see is only half this part not this part because this is dark and the last one warning crescent moon when we are here we're looking onto the sky this is morning actually quite morning uh, afternoon actually afternoon no 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 not afternoon morning this is morning sun shines here and this is afternoon so morning we can see a little part of the moon because the moon is over here the position is different and what we see what we actually see is only this part of the moon that's why we see a little because we can only see a small part of the moon so this is waning crescent moon now a new moon occurs when the moon is between the sun and the earth so this is what we see new moon this is the real moon what we we actually cannot see the moon i draw a circle to show you there's a moon here when we see it that we can't actually see anything we cannot see a new moon because the illuminated or lighted side of the moon is not facing the earth only the dark side is facing the earth so we cannot see the moon different with this a full moon full moon when it's all round occurs when the earth is between the sun and the moon okay the earth is between the sun the sun line shines here so we can see full moon during a full moon we can see the moon as a full circle okay this is what we see actually this is the moon faces now like i said the sun will be always on your left here oh left eh, left left there left okay when you look this video uh, you raise your left hand and that's your left okay the sun will be here and this is what happened and these are the faces when the moon is here and we stand here it's called a new moon we cannot see the moon when we stand over here and the moon is here it's moving anti-clockwise remember we can only see part of the moon so this we call waxing crescent moon when we stand here we can only see half moon so this is called half moon of first quarter because we can see half of the moon okay half of the moon 
you might not understand this better but i will show you a demonstration later okay this is called waxing gibbous moon and then full moon and then waning gibbous moon half moon and waning crescent moon remember that from here it moves anti-clockwise anti-clockwise like that so this part we call waxing waxing after full moon we call waning okay okay let me show you a video maybe before a video let me show you this okay in this video we can see here this is not a video this is an application from contrib pbs learning media dot org it shows that the position of the moon in relation to us here this is us earth and this is you looking towards the moon for for this one when you are here and the moon is here you cannot see anything here you cannot see anything like we have learned the moon move for 28 days around the earth so when we move to waxing crescent moon day and night day and night so this is waxing crescent moon when the moon is here and you are standing right there you can see part of the moon okay next half moon okay this is half moon first quarter or half moon the sun shines the lighted part and from here you see half of the moon okay when the moon move this way okay we can see that here Okay, reverse okay waxing gibbous moon so you can see a large part of the lighted part of the moon here you must be here to see waxing gibbous moon this is um, you just enter night time this is at 40 baru malam so when you move more here I think here would be best okay you can see a full moon okay you can see a full moon here if you stand right here and the moon is here so you can see full moon moving on to waning waning okay waning gibbous moon the moon started to get smaller from full moon just now full moon but now it's getting smaller but you must stand there this is almost morning 3 15 a.m almost morning so at six no no see i think this would be all right ah that one at 5 51 a.m almost 6 a.m 6 a.m you can see half moon but you must stand here and the position of the moon must be here this is on day 21 they say uh, another waning here reverse okay uh, this is waning crescent moon okay but you must stand over here to see this moon and the cycles goes back to new moon and you cannot see anything over here no moon because this is the dark side of the moon okay do you understand that you can check this i think um well, i'm not sure the link i don't remember but i can post the link under my youtube channel if you want to try this to understand this i will post the link uh, under the video later on so moving on to scene 
2. Now, this is from the application that I've used uh, um, augmented reality. I remember the name is Moon Faces AR. So we can see here um, in this video, I'm pointing to the sun and then I'm pointing to the earth and this part is the moon and the moon will revolve around the sun okay the moon will revolve around eh, no the moon will revolve around the earth see this is a close-up of the moon okay here i'm telling you in this video that the moon revolves anti-clockwise around the earth You can download this if you have your own handphone and try this and you can see what happened. But using this, I can show you what actually happened. Uh, how do we see our moon? I also um, prepare a ping pong ball, which you will see in a moment. Half of the ping pong ball uh, paint it with black that represent dark, dark side of the moon. So that's another example. So we have two moons there, more or less. But I just want to show you that the action is more or less the same. Now take a look. When the moon is moving anti-clockwise to waxing crescent. See, some of the part of the moon is lighted. The right side of the moon is lighted, like the ping pong ball that I've shown you. And moving on, see, half of the ping pong ball is lighted and another half is dark. So what happened is the moon during the first quarter only half, so we can see half moon. So that's the same like my ping pong ball. So moving on to waxing gibbous moon, more part of the moon is seen. Okay, and some are dark. Some from our point of view, from this point of view. Okay, and this is the full moon. And white represent a full moon, lighted part of the earth. So now we are seeing um, total round shape of the moon. And then it moves slowly and it will get smaller to the next phase which is waning gibbous moon. See, that's the dark side. Dark side on the right side is getting darker because the lighter part of the moon is getting smaller see and the next phase would be third quarter moon um, if you see the ping pong ball half of the lighter part on this scene so it will be the same for this uh, see half only half of the moon is seen now moving on to waning crescent. So like I said, the sun does not move, only the moon moves. So we see we see here the lighter part of the moon becomes smaller and the dark part of the moon become larger and larger. Okay? And then back to the cycle, new moon, which we cannot see because the moon uh, we are looking at the dark part of the moon. So we can't see this like in the experiment demonstration that I've shown you just now. Okay, excellent. Excellent. You can try this using an application uh, Moon Face AR. Okay, Moon Face AR. Um, let me check again moon faces AR so it looks like this no 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 magic magic uh, it looks like this 
moon phases AR. So there's an indoor and the outdoor. You can try this at home to understand more about this. Okay, moving on to um, week 10 exercises. I will provide you with exercises. Okay, you may print uh, the notes provided and stick in your exercise book. Printing is um, better. If you can print it, it's better so you can read it, read the notes. Okay. Do the worksheet provided through Google Form. I might give you through Google Form or maybe Microsoft Form or maybe live worksheet. Now, recap week 10 lesson. Moon revolves around the Earth. Again, one more time. I'm sorry with that. That's my fault. Move revolve around the Earth. Excellent. Okay, moon revolve around the Earth. Like the Earth, only part of the moon is illuminated or lighted. One revolution of the moon around the Earth takes 28 days. In a moon phase, there are eight phases. New moon, waxing crescent moon, half moon, waxing gibbous moon, full moon, Waning gibbous moon, half moon, and I'm sorry, <clears throat> and waning crescent moon, and then the cycle will move back to new moon. Every 28 days, it will cycle to new moon and back to eight phases through the eight phases. Okay. Okay. Thank you for watching this lesson. Now this is, I think, week. Then, lesson about the earth and the moon. I hope you understand what I'm explaining just now. If you do not understand, you can ask me through my TikTok at Cheguroni. Follow, find me there and you can ask questions. Ask me any question, especially related to year 6 or year 3 uh, science lesson, primary science lesson. But if you're not my student, not from Sungai Tadi student, but you have questions, you can always find me. I am Ceguroni. Follow me. Follow me, Ceguroni. Okay? Uh, send me a message. Tell me your name and tell me where your school is at. And ask me a question, a science question. And I will try to answer the question as soon as possible. Uh, doesn't really matter if you're primary one, two, three, four, five, or six. You can always ask science question, no worries. Because I've taught all science question from primary one. I've taught all science lesson from primary one to primary six. So if you're new, um, you can subscribe to my video and you can share and like uh, my video in the YouTube channel. Okay? the science class Brunei, okay? And then um, maybe your friends um, and family need this video so we can learn this together. So I learn, you learn, everyone can learn the same thing. Inshallah, we will see you again. Uh, I will see you again with another lesson, Inshallah. Um, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.